everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Machine Learning and Data Science Terminologies series. In this video, we look into one-hot encoding. So what is one-hot encoding? One-hot encoding is a technique used to transform a categorical data, a categorical variable data into more into numbers so that integers, um, so that you can use it for machine learning algorithms. So what do you mean by that? So let me just load a quick data to show you what I mean. Import, is it visible? Yep. Okay. Okay, so I'm importing pandas as pd. Say so data is equal to pd read csv. And then I say some data, I'm gonna use uh, house pricing data from Bengaluru, the city in India. So this contains several uh, data like the price of the apartments, which place it belongs to, what is the build up, what kind of area is build up area or super build up area, what's the area in square meters, square feet, uh, sale type, years old, floor and total load. I'm not interested in all of these things. Let, let's look at the place. So the place is actually a categorical variable. It's a place name. I cannot use it for a machine learning. So it, it, you know, it's, it's difficult for me to use it in machine learning. So what I can do is I can convert this place into more like a numerical or integer number. And one of these techniques is one hot encoding. Okay, in one hot encoding, we simply can use um, a pandas get dummies function to do it for us. I can pass on this data place and you can see that what it has done it has made every single place as one of the column by itself for example so let me see how many different variables we have uh, place and say value counts okay so these are the different places we have uh, about 14 let's say 5 and 5 and yeah 15 so we have 15 places and these are the number of records on each of the places there are like places like Devara Besanahalli, Kerpuram, BTM layout and uh, 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 data mice office is very near to the BTM layout actually electronic city the phase one all right these are the different places and there's a number of records in each of these places so what my get dummies has done it is actually it made every single place as its own column by itself and so you can see the first record where we have over here it's from btm layout so you can see that all of the 15 uh, places have become 15 columns and all got zero except the btm layout so this got one the rest all of the variables are just dummy variables all right and for the, the, the next place is your yellow hunker so it is actually in alphabetical order. So all are zeros, the second record, except the Elahanka, which is actually one. And likewise, all of these records will have one in the, in the places where they are from, and all of the rest of the places will get a zero. And all of these zero columns are actually dummy columns. And that actually, the reason why it's called as get dummies. And this technique is called as one hot encoding technique. So it converts a categorical variable into a bunch of uh, binomial, basically a binary variables with zero and ones, all right? The number of columns you get equal to number of uh, classes in your categorical variables. This technique is helpful uh, to convert it so that I can use it for machine learning, but it's also being criticized for the reason it just increases your number of columns, okay? So it basically makes your data set massive and most of the algorithms, if you have many columns, the accuracy decreases. All right, so uh, I can also do the entire thing. For example, the data we have contains only nine columns, but if I say get dummies, PD get dummies, I can do the entire data like that. And let me look at the shape of it now. It has become 24 columns. So it actually, uh, encoded your places it also encoded uh, <clears throat> your build up area the sale type and everything so it landed up with 
24 columns. So the actual data has only nine columns. It increases 24. 24, I think, is still fine, but there are data sets which might go into hundreds, and that becomes a little uh, a lot of dimensions, a lot of columns for machine learning to process with a higher accuracy. So that's the purpose of your one hot encoding, to be put it in a simple manner. So it converts the categorical variables. In our case, it was cat categorical categorical variables to more like in integers integers with a nominal variables so it like basically makes it as a nominal variables with zero and ones okay and this technique allows us to use the categorical text variables to to process it in machine learning algorithms so we can use these values for the machine learning algorithms the disadvantage it increases the number of columns it increases significantly the number of columns so which negatively affects your model accuracy in most of the cases the alternative for one hot encoding is called as label encoding which will be discussed in another video thank you very much if you find this channel helpful please subscribe and click the notification button if you have any questions on this please leave it in the comments i'll do my best to answer all of the questions and uh, thank you i'll see you in the next video